my uh, co-actor and, and somebody I was working with in that film, Vivek Obroy, he was the first one to tell me, listen, I mean, I watched a film uh, called Andhadun. I think you should go see the film and you should make it in Malayalam and I think you should do it. He was the first person to tell me this. You know how Tabu ma'am has played it. She's um, she is an inspiration, always has been exceptionally amazing. Even if you've seen and you've known the original up close, I think this is still a very engaging film, at least to me. Andhadun just happens to be one of those rare films that happened in Bollywood and we thought, oh man, this would make a great Malayalam film. I knew that this film is a remake. It was very important for me to get personally convinced that, okay, this is something that I want to do. Especially OTT gives us an opportunity to explore, uh, especially for women actors, for female actors to explore um, something that they are not absolutely comfortable doing. Hi, Prithviraj and Mamta. Welcome on Bollywood Angama. Thank you. Thank you so much. Prithviraj, my, my first question to you is that um, we are seeing this trend that mostly South cinemas are being remade in, in Bollywood and Hindi. But um, why do you think you guys decided to remake a Hindi film in, in Malayalam? Because it's a damn good Hindi film, man. <laughs> it was a really good film. So uh, we... I remember I was just uh, telling my friend that uh, this film was released uh, when I was shooting for my debut directorial, Lucifer. And uh, I couldn't watch the film then because I was shooting, obviously. Uh, my uh, co-actor and, and somebody I was working with in that film, Vivek Obroy, he was the first one to tell me, listen, I mean, I watched a film uh, called Andhadun. I think you should go see the film and you should make it in Malayalam. And I think you should do it. He was the first person to tell me this. Uh, I got to watch the film much later and I wanted to actually uh, immediately thought, hang on, this has to happen in Malayalam. But eventually it just happened a couple of years later and I'm glad I was still part of it. I'm glad it still came to me. Uh, I think it's a brilliant film. But more than that, I think it is one of those uh, films that at the core of it lends itself so beautifully uh, to the Malayalam milieu that uh, it's the same film but with so much of a refreshing Malayalam flavor now that to me, uh, you know, I just think that even if you've seen and you've known the original up close, I think this is still a very engaging film, at least to me. So uh, I, that is something I'm really looking forward to. I'm really excited to see uh, and hear what people who have seen the original think of Dhamma. Yeah, I think the promo has been cut very differently. It, uh, yeah. if, if you're not told that it is a, it's a remake of Andhadun, then maybe you would not uh, even get that. But, but uh, what, is, what is the general trend in Malayalam cinema uh, that uh, in terms of originals, you guys mostly prefer originals, right? It is not that we prefer originals or we, we, are, we are averse to remakes. There are very few films that lend themselves to Malayalam cinema that happen outside of Malayalam. Everything is secondary to content, regardless of how big a star you are, how big a film you're trying to make. Everything is secondary to content. And we are a very content owned industry. So for us to be looking elsewhere for content is unusual, I agree. But it is not that we are not. We have our eyes open. We, we look at films happening in other industries. We see and keep our eyes open to see if there, there is content that can travel our way. Uh, but there isn't a lot. Andhadun just happens to be one of those rare films that happened in Bollywood. And we thought, oh man, this would make a great Malayalam film. Not just in Malayalam, man. Andhadun got remade in pretty much every language. So, uh, Mamta, hi. Uh, so, you know, uh, you, you have this, this wonderful, um, I think, um, legacy of sorts that you've, that you've created for yourself. That uh, it seems to be a brave, brave person that you are. Um, but uh, tell me, um, how pivotal was, was this particular role for you? I believe you're, you're playing Tabu's character in the film. And, but... Um, how differently are you trying to play? Because I think Tabu was exceptional in the film. So obviously I'm sure that you would want to give it, give it your own tinge as well. So what, what, what different have you tried to do? I think her excelling in that role um, is what um, attracted me towards accepting this role as well as wanting to give it my own um, flavor to it. Because um, when it came to me, I was, you know, obviously... The first thought that crossed my mind was, is this character-wise like playing um, the older producers or, you know, actor's son, is it, no, wife, is it going to be a little too, um, you know, is it going to really um, look a bit odd on screen? Um, so I had to give it a, a thought, but then I was like, oh, Mamta, anyway, you know, our 50-year-old actors want to work with, you know, 25-something-year-olds. So it is not something that people don't understand these days. Second wives are mostly younger and that was the first thing I had to, the first mental block. You know, that was the first thing I had to like convince myself of that first. 
um because even though i knew that this film is a remake it was very important for me to get personally convinced that okay this is something that i want to do and there is no um reservations in initially in my initial years i had no reservations um i wasn't apprehensive about what uh, roles i would take what age bracket i should fit in but today i'm i'm becoming more aware of uh, how important it is to uh, be careful when it comes to choosing your roles and what age brackets you need to fit in but that risk itself is what drew me towards um accepting this role and also trying to bring my own um flavor to it in terms of being um how deceivingly cute can you approach this character in spite of having to play shankar sir's wife um cuz now you're going to be um fooling people with your innocence right um so yeah i think that's what i enjoy the most about this character itself and um there's no way that i'm trying to get into a competition with um, you know how tabu ma'am has played it she's um, she is an inspiration always has been exceptionally amazing and even when rkc sir first um, you know we got into our first discussion about this character um, i could tell that he's so drawn by how tabu has um, performed this character so i needed to do everything to understand um, you know what he is expecting from me or um he wanted me to bring my own film. there were some scenes in it which we have um shot in in two styles like two different um two completely different approaches and in one of the takes we place the camera in one position and in the other he was like okay what if i'm going to be using the other version of it so let's i'm going to shoot it from another angle and let's do the scene all over again and that was actually a scene between me and uni mukund uh when we first realized um that maybe ray is not a blind guy <laughs> so it was very interesting but yeah. you know i think uh, i i've spoken to so many actors and and i think almost all of them the most of them they they really enjoy playing uh, playing roles with with gray shades with negative shades it's it's yeah. so much more fun right we get very limited opportunities to do that right as as heroines and in fact um it's very sad to say that um, you know there was a super hit film that i did in the south uh, in malayalam um i later heard that big heroes did not come into it because big heroines wouldn't accept uh, playing the role of an alcoholic or someone who would um, you know had um, issues up her you know <laughs> in her head um and it got played by um lesser known actors and it got remade in different languages um so you know most heroines don't like taking risks uh, when it comes to playing something negative um anything that uh, involves um bad habits or bad practices which is very sad i think it's um, especially ott gives us an opportunity to explore uh, especially for women actors to female actors to explore uh, something that they are not absolutely comfortable doing